kid. Yeah. And yeah. I have so much respect for him now to see him doing this. Well, yeah, to see a 13-year-old boy walk around like Canada just to raise money to help people out, that's something that takes a lot of guts to do. Actually, he's not walking to raise the money, though. That's the no, but he's thing. walking to raise awareness. To raise the awareness. Yeah. Yeah. The money's helping him walk. Yeah. He's, I think he's really brave. Not lots of kids have the courage to do what he's doing, even if like they don't do an Oregon transplant. I wouldn't have thought of doing anything unless I would have, if I didn't meet Chris. Okay, but now, now that you've met him, yeah. have you... If I wouldn't have met Chris, then I probably wouldn't have even, even thought of doing this or like... Because you don't see many people doing it all the time. So. Yeah. I did Chris, sign my donor card though. You did sign right? It? As soon as I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Not yesterday, there, like. But when you got yeah. the license? Oh, I'm going to sign my donor card right when I get my license. <laughs> Have you ever thought about the fact that being in northern Ontario, it's one of the most re remote places, and that there are really no sort of organ retrieval centers up here? We don't know anything about it here. Like, there's no education for us. There's no one to teach us that people do need organ transplants and where to go if you want to help and where to go if you want to donate something. There's absolutely nothing like that for us here. So, after Chris came to CAPS, that's like probably the only awareness that we actually have. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Ah. I think you Where you with them? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get out of the wall. Yeah. After Chris came to the After cat. Chris came, it really like it brought it to my mind. It opened a lot of people's eyes. Yeah. Like we're a really secluded community, so no one thinks about it at all. Yeah. Well, like I'm wondering, like yesterday I saw you. You were at the walk. I saw you at the walk. I don't know if I saw you. There. No, I had a different class. You were at the walk. No, just you know, me. Just you. Okay, and I mean, in, in some of the communities, we get a great response. In others, we get a more modest response because people really don't know what it's about or they don't come up. Do you feel that now, after yesterday, if Chris were to come walking through this community next year, that he would get a bigger or better response at all? I think he would because people know him now. People know he's the kid needing a liver transplant. So people are going to recognize him more than just being any old kid. The response I got when I was going door to door was, oh, I heard about that. And if people heard about it this time, then they'll probably keep their eyes open for something about it again. I don't think that they're going to recognize him as the boy who needs an organ transplant. I think they're going to recognize him as the boy who walked across Canada to make people realize what's going on and how many people are affected. And, and do you think that the issue is going to be larger than Christopher, or is Christopher larger than the issue? I think he's bigger than the issue. Because it takes a lot of courage to do stuff like this, yeah. and he wants to help everyone, not just himself. For a 13 year old boy to go out into Canada, just for people around the world, or whatever, it's really brave and like, goes from the heart, you know? Current system, you have to sign your donor cards to be a donor. You can't just, um, they won't just take your organs yeah. if you die. Um, how do you feel if they were to change change the laws to say that if a person dies, they are presumed to be an organ donor and um, will give the gift of life to others? For me, I think it would be a good thing, but a lot of people aren't willing to give up their organs to other people, so it's kind of an ethical issue. To a person, but if it were up to me, I would change it so that everyone would donate their organs. So, if that were the way the law read, that if, if someone yes. dies, their their consent would be considered a precious gift that they've yeah. given to someone. Yeah. You would be okay with that? Yeah, I'd be okay. <laughs> Or to the girls about their involvement with uh, Christopher's Wish yeah. and why they felt that it was an important issue. Why do you feel? Why are you involved? Why am I involved? Because about two or three years ago I lost a cousin to, to leukemia, leukemia and now my aunt started a foundation it's called Northern Corridor Children's Fund and I've always been helping her and when you guys were in town it was like oh maybe I should give my time too because I already know what I'm doing and like I help raise a lot of money in cash. Okay, what's your name? Matt Pichet. Matt Pichet, P-I-C-H-E? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so, um, 
So do you help your aunt with the foundation? Yeah. And one time I shaved my head bald for her, and I gave maybe 20 or 40 hours with her in one yeah. year, doing like serving for her suppers and helping like money raised go to door to door and stuff. Do you think organ donation is an important issue in Canada? Yeah, very important because people like who take their organs that are already been used and dead and can't use them anymore, maybe you should give it to someone so they they have a chance to live to know what it felt like. Do you think a system that would um, sort of mirror the one they have in Spain where if you if you die you're you're automatically a, a donor, do you think yeah. that's a good system that Canada yeah. should adopt? They should have it right now actually because maybe we wouldn't have those 4,000 people who need a liver transplant. People like Chris would be, get, be getting one a lot quicker. It's way better that way. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm just uh, very proud that a 13-year-old kid is doing this. George, you have some questions?